hello everyone in this video we will see what are flow designers and how can we automate a use case using flow designers so we'll be taking an example and we will try to automate that so firstly what is flow designer it's a new platform feature for automating all processes in a single design environment so you are presented with one flow designer where you can automate anything on a table or any logic so it has three components called trigger when actually should this flow be fired so we can define that in the trigger in the action you have to say what action should be fired when this flow designer has been triggered for example sending an email or maybe creating a record or updating a record thirdly in the flow logic you have to give the logic of if else and so on so what are we building we are trying to automate addition of end users to the service now group initially when you have to add someone to the service now group the end user will drop an email to the service now admins or maybe to the group owners and that they wanted to get added to this group and then there will be long email chains of the approval and from service now admins that it has been approved now we will add this you have to wait for this days and all so we are trying to automate this process through service catalogs and flow de designer so this is how the flow will look the end user will initiate a service catalog request request will go to the approval for to the group manager and if he approves the user is added to the group otherwise we will send an email rejection so service now admin is not involved here also the group manager will get an email for approval and he has to click on the approve button only and then the user will be automatically added to the group let's quickly jump to service now to save time i have already created a catalog item add me to a group which is under category automation right now we don't have any process engine or the flows under this we'll create one and we have a variable which is referencing to the group table sys user group and the user will select that group and when the approval comes through the group manager the user will be automatically added to that group on the top left you have to type flow designer we will add a new flow by clicking on new and then flow so i have to give the name of of the flow i can say automate group addition and i will say run as user who initiates the session the other one is you can say the system user i'll submit this now we have to give a trigger when it actually should be fired i'll click on the plus sign and come at the bottom and you see service catalog so when a catalog item is created this flow should automatically fire you can have some advanced conditions as well run this workflow in background or foreground so we'll select the default one in actions i'll click on the plus sign and i'll try to read all the variables which are present on that service catalog so i'll say variables you see get catalog variables here so now we should be able to get all of our catalog variables under the trigger you will see requested item record i have to drag and drop in this requested item moving on on which particular catalog item this should fire the name of my catalog item is add me to group and then all the variables which are present under this item will be displayed here and which ever we want to use in this flow we can move them to the right hand side i'll say done now we'll be able to get all the variables and use them in our flow you can see it on the right hand side under step 1 in the second step we have to send it for the approval to the group manager i'll go for action again and i'll search for approval now we will ask for approval from the group manager so first of all it is asking for what record you have to create approval for it will be the same requested item record and some values are automatically populated called table approval field and journal field and in the rules we have to define to whom it should be 
actually sent to now if you see on the right hand side we had our get catalog variables so we have to send it to the group name manager so I'll just scroll down and look for the manager name and you can see here I'll just drag and drop and now the approval will be sent to the manager of that group which is selected I will say done in the third flow logic will give if and the condition would be if the approver actually approves so we'll give the condition as approval state from the second step and the choices will appear automatically and we'll say approval state is approved and I'll say done and what actually should be done when this particular request is approved we'll see a plus sign here the small one under the if I'll say action and I will create a record in sys user gr member group that is where we have to create a record when we have to add some user so I'll say create record I will give the name of the table and what will be the fields value we have to define here so we have to define only two fields the first one is the group name so I'll select group and which I can get from again step number one group name which is our variable the second one is the user who has actually initiated the request so I can actually expand this requested item record and look for open by you can see it's a reference field so we can use this one and I will say done so if the state is approved we will create a record in this table and the user will automatically be added to the group otherwise we can give again the flow logic as else and we will send an email if that is rejected or some other state I'll search for send email and you can see here we'll just have to give some details of the emails what is the target record we'll again select the requested item record and whom it should be sent to again we'll use the open for so I'll drag and drop this open by and then what would be the subject you can write anything your request has been rejected and again I'll just copy this I'll say hi your request has been rejected and that is done so this is how we create a flow in service now I will save this and activate So the flow has been activated successfully now so I'll note down the name of my flow and I will add this to my catalog item in the process engine under flow I'll just select this and I'll save so I'm logged in as system administrator and I will try to add myself to this agent chat group where there are currently only five members I'll click on try it on the catalog item and I will give the group name as agent chat group and I will say order now I'll go to the requested item and you can see the variable agent chat group and you should be able to see the approvers group manager name is David Lu, which has been defined here an approval re request has been sent to this particular user and when he approves I should be automatically added so I'm logged in as system admin so I can actually right click on this and directly approve so the request has been approved 
and if I refresh my group page so there are now six members and the system admin is included here additionally you can click on flow context so this gives where your flow is currently at which step and now you can see here the first step was completed second was completed third was evaluated to true and the if condition has ran, ran and it says completed and the else statement did not run and the flow is completed if you see on the top so this is how you can create flow designer in service now and automate any task this one was a simple one even you can automate any complicated task using integration hub or any integrations you have i hope you like this video let me know in comments if you have any questions please subscribe to my channel thank you